2023 was an awesome year for golf equipment. Yes! That's awesome! In fact, I personally changed 13 out of 14 clubs in my bag, and I did not go into the year thinking I would get anywhere near that number. But 2024 looks to be just as interesting, and on today's video, we're going to look at all of the rumors and all of the releases that are coming out here this year that I'm getting super pumped about. Now, before we begin, a big word of caution. <laughs> Yes, there are leaked images inside. So if you're a person who likes to be surprised, you should probably click away now. Look away, I'm hideous. And by the way, in just a few weeks, I will be at the PGA show in 2024. I will be the feet on the street for you. So if you want to see this stuff before anyone else sees it, do hit subscribe here to Let's Play Through. And I'll continue to bring all the latest and greatest in golf clubs and golf technology. All right, let's get to work here. We're going to start this video off with drivers and woods. It's always a hot topic every year year. What are the new releases from the big manufacturers? Well, there are a few that look really tasty. First off, we're going to start with the Ping G430. Yes, that name sounds familiar, but this is the G430 10K. Now, what does that 10K mean? Well, I have a feeling it's going to mean more MOI. And you might be thinking to yourself, 5900 is the top end in terms of MOI. That's allowable by the USGA for conforming golf clubs. So how does 10K make any sense? Well, 5900 is the top end when you're measuring left to right. But when you're measuring top to bottom, there's about 4,000 more MOI available, which would put us over that 10,000 mark. And I think that's what Ping is doing here. They're just trying to focus on making the most forgiving drivers that they can. And last year with the G430, I thought they also got the distance correct. So they're really starting to dial things in over at Ping. And I can't wait to see what they do here with the 10K in 2024. Now, Callaway is also releasing new drivers here in 2024, as they do at least once, sometimes twice a year these days. But here in 2024, they've got a driver that just hit the USGA conforming list called the Callaway Paradigm AI Smoke. Now, this makes a lot of sense because with their Odyssey line of putters, Callaway now owns Odyssey, they just rolled out a new AI face technology for their putters. I actually tried them and spoiler alert, I made zero more putts than I made with any other putter in there. Although they did feel pretty good. They felt pretty darn good. And I love the blue look with the gold face. I thought that looked really classy, but yeah, in terms of performance, it didn't change much for me, at least, in my initial testing. Maybe we'll get our hands on these later in the year and take a look at those as well a little bit more deeply. But at any rate, it makes a lot of sense that they're rolling that technology into their new drivers. So I'm going to assume here we've got an artificial intelligence designed face for probably more forgiveness, more MOI. A lot of the stuff we just talked about there with the ping. And another thing we can see here in this leaked image is that they will continue to use forged carbon like they did on the original Paradigm series in 2023. So that is most likely the construction of the body, making it more lightweight and more durable as well, strengthening the body of these drivers. So that will be something to look forward here at the PGA show. Hopefully they'll let me into the Callaway booth this year because last year I literally walked up with Wade and they're like, oh, do you have a reservation? I was like, no, I don't have a reservation. And they pretty much waved me goodbye. So hopefully at the PGA show this year, I'll get a chance to swing them. Next up on the list is going to be a manufacturer that I've been really pumped about the last couple of years. They continue to release banger after banger in terms of both their drivers, irons, and really the entire line of clubs that they put out. And that is Cobra. This year in 2024, Cobra looks to be releasing the Dark Speed Max. And I assume this is going to be an update to the Rad Speed line that we saw a few years ago. I love the Rad Speed. In fact, yeah, I still have one here right behind me. Love that driver. I had it in the Tor length, the Ricky Fowler length shaft, which gave it a lot of control, a lot of stability. It's a very low spinning driver though. So you got to be able to hit the ball. I think that's kind of what Cobra goes for. You got to be a little higher swing speed player to really game a Cobra driver. But if you're one of those people, I think you're really going to love Cobra. And I think you're really going to be interested in what's coming here in the spring of 2024. I should have that one in hand at the show. Next on our list in terms of drivers and woods is going to be the TaylorMade QI10. Interestingly enough, if we were pronouncing this in Chinese, we would call that the Qi Ten or the Qi Ten. Interesting. Anyways, that 10 again signifies to me that maybe we're looking at another competitor to that Ping 10K. Does that make sense as well? Possibly that's what the 10 means there. I don't know what the QI or Qi means, but we'll find out, I'm sure, with the TaylorMade marketing. Again, TaylorMade releasing a couple of drivers every year lately, so 
This should be interesting, but I will say I always look forward to TaylorMade drivers since that Sim 2 release, which I absolutely love. I always think TaylorMade's got the best sounding drivers. I just love the thud and the crunch that those things give off when you hit one in the center. And it's such a good audible feedback to knowing how your contact was at the strike. And I hope to see the QI10 continue that trend. Once again, this will be featuring carbon wood because TaylorMade has committed to this carbon construction. I don't know if that means it's gonna be the body construction or the face construction itself, but if they continue along the lines of what they've done with the Stealth series, we'll see it on the face, but I don't know that for sure. All right, moving on to irons and wedges. Here's what I'm looking forward to in 2024. First off, the brand that I'm most looking forward to is going to be Wilson Staff. From what I've gathered, they look to be releasing three new sets of irons. One of them in particular, I'm like salivating for. But first off, the Wilson Staff Blades. This is a long awaited update. I believe it's been a minimum of four years and I think now five years since they rolled out those blades, which I thought were some of the best feeling blades on the market, bar none. Then you've got the cavity backs, which they'll also be rolling out in update two. Those came out at the same time as the blades. The Wilson Staff cavity back should be a little bit more forgiving. And man, they do look good based on these pictures. But the Wilson Staff model that I'm most looking forward to seeing roll out this year is going to be the Dynapower forged irons. Last year's Dynapower irons offered incredible distance excellent forgiveness. I shot even par with just a half set of these irons. That's how good they were. And in fact, if you haven't seen that video, I'm going to link to it here. Now, if it's anything like how the D9 series went, the forged version of these Dynapower irons should be a little bit more player friendly. We should see a little bit smaller top line, maybe a little less offset, maybe a little smaller sole as well. And that great forged feel that Wilson staff has really honed in on, I hope we get that here now with the Dynapower Forge. These things look so good. I cannot wait to test them in 2024. It's the iron that I'm most looking forward to swinging. And in addition to the irons, Wilson Staff is also going to be launching some new Wilson Staff wedges. Boy, these things look good. Check out the milling on the face there. I can't wait to test these ones out as well. Now, the next series of irons that I'm most looking forward to have actually been released here in fall, but it's really the 2024 model. And that comes from Mizuno. This year, they've got the 241, the 243, and the 245s. I'm looking forward to the 243s and 5s mostly. The 245s are going to have that blade look to it, but it's going to be the hollow body foam filled design that we're seeing with things like the Titleist T200s from the TaylorMade P790s, which started this whole craze. The 245s are going to be Mizuno's updated version of this. Their previous models, the 225s and the MP20 HMBs, those ones I actually owned were great clubs in and of their own right. And I'm really looking forward to the 243s because a couple years ago when they rolled out the 223s, I liked those better than the 225s. And we'll see if I like the 243s better than the 245s. In case you're wondering, 22 was 2022, 24 will be 2024. That's how Mizuno is numbering their clubs these days. And it kind of makes sense, I guess. Anyways, those are the two models that I'm most looking forward to testing for myself. Hopefully we'll get those early in the spring. Next on my list should be no surprise if you've watched some of my recent videos here on Let's Play Through. I'm looking forward to trying another set of malt bees. I just finally got a chance to test the KE4 Maxes. I really liked those. And I think I'm going to love the TS1 IM. Now these irons, look very similar to the Kirkland Signature irons, but hopefully we're going to have a little bit more forgiveness out of them. We'll see how they stack up, but they look pretty darn good. These are going to come on loan to me again from Stu in Arizona. So thank you, Stu, for helping out Let's Play Through here and the whole community shining a spotlight on a very interesting brand that could definitely save a lot of folks money. Now, speaking of the Kirkland Signature irons, there's another one that looks strikingly similar and that's called the SMT 579. I actually ordered these irons. I have them in my possession and I'm currently building them out. At first glance, they look like they could be the same template as the Kirkland Signature irons, but they come in at a little cheaper price point and they look to be a little bit more forgiving. My one knock on the Kirkland Signature irons is I really think they're meant for 12 handicaps and below. These ones look like they'll fit a wider range of golfers Hopefully the mid to higher handicappers could use these. We'll find out once I test them. But at first glance, they've got a little wider sole, a little bit more offset, a little bigger profile overall. 
I can't wait to test these things out on course. It's going to be a lot of fun. Next category here is putters, and there's one putter in particular that I'm really excited to see, and that's going to be the Odyssey Jailbird Mini AI-1. As I mentioned earlier, Odyssey released its first batch of these AI-1 putters, and the Jailbird was unfortunately not part of that first initial release, but we should see it here in 2024. I loved the Jailbird version that I had last year. I had great days putting with it. I also had bad days putting with it, which leads me to believe it was me, the guy putting rather than the putter itself. But I really loved the balance of that putter. I really loved the look of it at address. And I'm excited to see what this AI version does and maybe a little smaller package being a mini jailbird that it will be. So that wraps up my list of what I'm most looking forward to in terms of golf clubs in 2024. But what did I miss? I'm sure there's some other amazing releases that you know about. Maybe there's some leaks. I would love to see it down below. Leave me a comment. Tell me what you're most excited to see in terms of golf clubs. And I hope to catch you back here very soon on another edition of Let's Play Through.